Have y'all ever wondered what it's like to go to summer school? Me neither, but I'm going today, so we're going to figure it out. <clears throat> so basically, today is July 5th, and today is the start of my summer class. Um, I'm taking an accounting class because I didn't finish all of my basics. It's the one class that I didn't take because I was taking the original first accounting last semester and I couldn't take them both at the same time. So now I'm stuck having to do it over the summer, which is cool because at least I can still kind of get ahead, but I'm tired and I don't want to go. But what they don't tell you about summer classes is that it's a great way to get ahead. You can take summer classes at your local community college and then transfer them in to your university. But it all depends on your university, so I would ask, you know, before signing up for classes. I ended up changing my outfit because I didn't like it, um, but I am on the way right now to class. I'm gonna be late, I already know, because I was supposed to leave at 10 and I left the house at 10.08. So I'm just getting to school and it is 10.32 already, so I am late. Summer two. The way I have it set up is that all the uh, work on the site is uh, the website. Now, in those calls, all right, so it is like 12:10, 12:15 maybe. I just got out of class. It is piping hot outside. It's so bad. Uh, it's super like dry and humid in Texas. I am walking towards the gym. I honestly don't remember which way it is. I know I'm going in the right direction at least. It's not as big as the one on my other campus, but it's somewhere over here. So class was cool. It was just an introductory class and then a chapter, a single chapter, the first chapter, which typically is not supposed to be as difficult as the rest of them, but I didn't really understand anything. So honestly, I don't think I'm supposed to be up here but I'm looking at the gym right now. They have no type of equipment and I have to have my ID to work out here. Uh, there was nobody at the front to check me in, but it says that I have to have an ID, which obviously I do have it, but I don't know if I wanna get a workout in here. There's not really a whole lot of equipment. I guess we'll make do with what we got. So it was a decent day of class today. Um, we started our introductory chapter, like I said, and my first assignment is due until the 11th, which is six days from now. So I've got a pretty generous amount of time to do it. After that, everything's gonna start to kick up. We're gonna have more assignments, um, videos to watch, lectures to read, uh, homework, all that kind of stuff, exams. It's off to a slow start, but it'll uh, pick up pretty quick because the class only lasts about a month. Today's July 5th and then it ends on August 4th. So just about a month. After that, I have like two more weeks here and then I go off to Houston. Super excited about that. But anyways, after class, uh, you guys saw I wanted to go to the gym, but the gym just wasn't that nice. And I was going to go to my regular gym, but I had some other things to do that I needed to that were kind of urgent that I needed to get done. Um, so I ended up going to the mall and I bought a new pair of cleats. Uh, these are outdoor cleats. I play indoor soccer right now, so I'm not allowed to use these. But when I go over to Houston, I don't know if I'm gonna be playing indoor or outdoor and my outdoor cleats are screwed. Like they're super messed up. So I ended up getting these for 37 bucks, which is really not a bad deal at all. I'm probably gonna get some more. That way I can resell them because you know, 37 bucks is a really good deal. These are selling for like 80 bucks on eBay. So make like $40 per pair, not a, not a bad deal at all. After that, I ended up going to Chick-fil-A and then I went to Honda's house and we just chilled and ate. Other than that, I'm just gonna get into homework. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a rundown of what my assignments look like on a daily basis. So here is my assignments tab. These are all the upcoming assignments that I have coming up. They're a little bit out of order. Uh, he's still working on changing all the due dates and everything, but we're going through chapter 14 all the way to like 24, I believe. Concept videos, um, basically we just watch videos and then answer questions on the videos. It's typically around like 20 questions. Um, it's not too bad. It usually takes maybe an hour or two to do. We have a homework for each chapter as well as a concept overview video. So we do the videos first. That way we review, you know, everything in the chapter. And then on top of that, we do the homework afterwards. 
So before I end off the video, I do want to talk about some of the pros and cons of summer classes. Um, so one of the pros for sure is going to be lightening up your fall and spring semester load. It makes it a lot easier to take four classes than it is to take five classes. Or if you want to take five classes, you can get ahead by taking one of your classes in the summer and then that fifth class you can replace with something else that you were planning on taking a semester later or something like that. Uh, it just makes it a lot easier, uh, makes it a lot quicker to graduate if you're able to knock out multiple classes during the summer. Even one is gonna get you a little bit ahead of every other, every other person or ahead of your own graduation plan if that's what you're trying to do. A con for sure is that they are a lot shorter, they move a lot quicker, so um, summer classes basically are about a month long each and then like an actual semester is i think around three four three to four months something like that so you move through material a lot quicker in summer classes so you definitely have to be focused it's not like you can take like four or five summer classes i mean i'm sure people do but me personally i don't think i could do that because the curriculum is so much more accelerated you have to really put in time and effort to learn a lot faster than if you were learning during a normal semester. And then um, another pro is that it is cheaper. Uh, for the most part, summer classes are a lot cheaper because nobody is you know, going on campus during the summer. Uh, you can take them online. You don't have to worry about room and board, uh, any of that kind of stuff. It helps you save a lot of money. Another con is that not every class that you wanna take is gonna be offered during the summer. So there are specific classes that they offer during the summer and during specific times of the summer. Why, I don't know why, but that's just how it is. I would say it's mostly core. You can't really get like art credits uh, there are like a few things here and there, like major specific classes or like art credits or language credits, things like that are a little bit harder to find during the summer. But um, just doing your research and doing your due diligence, making sure that your class is offered so that you can sign up for it. So those are some of the pros and cons, uh, just things that I've heard or felt in my experience, um, you know, taking summer classes. This is my second summer taking summer classes. Uh, my first class I took online. This class I'm taking in person. So it is a little bit of a different kind of environment. And yeah, that is, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for the video. So if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.